Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. Um, before I started recording, I went back, healed everyone up. Uh, team's looking good so far. Um, today we'll probably finish this route and head to Mawville City. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn off the music, that doesn't sound very good. Oh yeah. I don't know if I have any repels up. I think I put one up last episode. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, there used to be trainers there. They moved them here. Hmm. Uh, this is going to be a boring battle, and I want to get to Mauville City in this episode. Uh, that was an easy battle. Just got Burton to level 20. Let's stop training Burton. Let's put in Ziggy. We oh jeez. I'll skip this back. Oh, I should have had Burton up front. He had an Abra. That's it. It would have been an easy battle. I'm thinking about doing a solo run for my next project. Probably an Abra. Maybe an Abra Fire Red solo run. Tell me what you guys think. Because that's what I've been thinking of for d a while. I was going to do that. I was either going to do that or Sapphire. I was originally doing Ruby, but it was really messed up. Mm, Whalmer. Oh, I'm going to skip this battle. Mm, easy battle. Oh, man. For this next gym, I'm just going to be using Ziggy. That's it. Because it's an electric-type gym, and since Ziggy's part ground, electric-type moves don't affect him. I don't even have to heal. But what I do have to do is take on someone that we met before. What's blocking the way to the gym? Who is that? Burton. Who might this be? Wally! Oh, he has a lot of boring dialogue. Then you can finally fight him with his one Pokemon, Ralts. Yeah. So, so, oh, God. So exciting. I put out Burton because Astonish will pretty much, yeah, one hit kill. Now, after doing that, well, I recommend healing if you don't have, if you're not confident, because you probably took a little bit of damage from that route. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, we gotta go visit him later on, but first, I recommend going here, and you can, you talk to him, Rydal, and he will give you a free bike. All you gotta do is answer yes to, all, to his question. I will take the acro bike because I don't need to go fast and there are a few tricks that you can do with it. The other one you can ride up hills. Uh, let's see. I'm going to make that register it. So all you got to do is press select and you can get on your bike. <sighs> I don't need to go fast because I'm using an emulator. But, if you're using a Game Boy, that's the bike that I usually use. Okay, I didn't need to heal. Well, I'm going to go ahead, take down all those gym trainers, and come back and battle the gym leader. Well, I feel confident enough that I don't even have to heal. So, um, here's Watson. And, let's fight. Third gym battle. Here we go. Music. One down.
two down. His last Pokemon is Magneton. It's not that hard. Because it's four times weak to Mudshot. So if you're using a Marsh Tomp, like I am, it sh it's a one-hit kill. And that's Watson. Easiest gym leader ever. And we have even more luck for us since the next gym leader is a fire type gym. I think Ziggy's four times resistant to the, all of those moves. And all of his moves are super effective. Other than Bide. But I haven't used that once. And he gives you TM34, Shockwave, 60 power, it's an electric type move. It never misses. It's not that bad. But he'll give you a better TM later on. Oh, well, well, I'm thinking about ending the episode pretty soon. Maybe one more minute. We'll, we'll, we'll have one more battle. I'll show you one thing. There are a lot of trainers down this path. Tons of them. Oh, no, battling one. Well, we'll save this for the next episode. Next time we take on Pokemon Breeder Lydia. See you guys.